Hi everyone, this is Alejandra and today I'm bringing you a very cool example where I'm getting the 3 year average on the expenses for these programs and sub-programs using Power Query and I'm going to be filtering that information based on this list for my table here and my pivot table. So every time that I add or remove any information on this list, my table and pivot table can be updated. For example, here I'm going to add one more program, so Rec Centers program with three sub programs, and I'm going to paste that information at the end of my list. Right now, my table and pivot table have only three programs. This is a table, this is the pivot table, and I go to data, refresh all. You can see that in a second, I have that information updated on the table and on the pivot table. If you like what you see here, remember to subscribe and let's get this done. Let's start with this workbook where I have a table with all the expenses by programs, subprograms, GL category, and the years of 2018, 19, and 2020. Also, I have a table on the second sheet with the programs and subprograms. Let's create a plan query. So here on the data tab, select the data from other sources, plan query. I'm using Microsoft 365. The Power Query Editor opens, and here on the formula bar, I say equal Excel dot current workbook, open and close parentheses, enter. I have the content of my workbook, which is two tables. So let me duplicate this query because I want to create one query per table. So in my first query, I'm going to get the information from the DIM reference. So second line, I click a table, and this is the content of that table. I'm going to select the program name column. I'm going to go to transform and select or click at convert to list. My programs are in one list and now I need to remove the duplicate values. Here on the transform tab, select remove duplicates or click there. I have only three programs, which is correct. Let's rename our query, double click there and I'm going to call it programs. This is a list. You see that the icon is different than the table. Let's go to our second query, double click there and rename it as expenses. Here, my table with expenses is the first line. Click there where it says table, or let's clean this up a little bit. I'm gonna select the first column, press and hold uh, the control key, select the third column and press delete. I have my program name, subprogram name, GL category, and now I have the three years in the next three columns. Let's modify this. I'm going to click and select the first column, press and hold uh, the shift key, and select the third column. I right click, and I'm going to unpivot other columns. By doing this, my information is organized properly. Now I need to get the three year average. I'm going to select the first column. Press and hold the shift key and select the third column because I want to keep the information on those columns and I want to add a column with the three year average. I'm going to lose the last two columns with the year and the values. That's, that's the reason why I selected the first three columns. I want to keep that information. So here on the home tab, I click at group by. Here you can see the three columns that I selected. If for any reason I miss one column or I don't want of this, one of these columns, I can remove them from here or I can add one more column here. In this case, my three columns are correct. Now I'm gonna name my new column as um, expenses, three year average. The operation will be the average. And the column where I'm getting this information from is the value column. I say OK. Here I have my three first columns. And now I have my three year average. I'm going to change this as a whole number. Click here on this square and select whole number. Now my information is ready for the filter. On the program name column, click here at this row. And let's create a temporary filter. I'm going to just select aquatic. 
What I want is this code. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see better. Here is filtering by aquatic. I'm going to remove the whole thing from the equal to the end of aquatic and the end of the quotation mark. I'm going to say each, open parenthesis, and I'm going to say list contains, open parenthesis, and my list will be programs, the list that we just created. So remember that Power Query is case sensitive, so make sure that you spell things correctly. And I'm going to say comma, the value, the value will be my column, column program name, close parenthesis, equals true. And what this is going to do is to say, filter by any information that you have in the program name column from the program list. Here I have two more parentheses and I go to the end of that and I press enter. My information has been filtered by the information that is contained here on the programs. Now we have aquatic, arts and culture and fitness. Excellent. We are ready to pass this information to Excel. Let's go to home, close and load, close and load to. And I only want to create a connection because I don't want to create an additional tab. So I'm going to go here, click at only create connection and I'm going to say OK. You can see our list here and our query right here. Now I right click at the query expenses and I want to load to. I can load it to a table or I can load it to a pivot table. But in this case, I want to load it to a table and then create a pivot table from that because I want to show you how both things get updated once I make changes to our list of programs. So I click table. I'm going to delete this. I want that table to be here in H2. Press enter. Here I have my information. And I'm going to change the formatting here. I'm going to select the whole column, Control Shift 1 for the number format. And I'm just going to remove the decimals. Let's create our pivot table from our table. Let's go to Insert Pivot Table. I don't want to add it to the data model, so I remove the check mark there. I want it in the existing worksheet just to show you. And I'm going to put it right here. Ideally, you will have this information in different sheets. But for the purpose of this example, I want to keep it all here so you can see when it's updated. And I say OK. Now I'm going to call the program, subprogram, and GL category to the rows, and the expenses, three year average, to the values. I'm going to click there, value field settings, number format, same thing, number. I don't want decimals, and I want to use the thousand separator. Say OK, OK ready to go. Let me change the design. I go to here. I go to the design tab, report layout, showing tabular, tabular form. And now here we have our programs. Let me collapse this information here. Right click anywhere inside of the subprogram uh, column. And I'm going to say expand, collapse, collapse entire field. So it's easier to see. So we have a total here. Let me just put some color. It's easier to identify uh, uh, each program. So we're ready. Let's say I want to add one more program. I have fitness, aquatic, and arts and culture. Let me go to our third sheet, Control C. I go and paste this information at the end of my program list. And I have rec centers, and it has three sub programs. You can see that I have only three programs here and three programs here. Let's go to data, refresh all. In no time, we have four programs here. But what happened with the pivot table? I don't have it here. I need to click refresh all again so that information gets also updated. I don't like this because I'm not certain how many times I need to refresh information to get all my pivot tables updated. So it's very easy to fix. Here on the query, right click, properties. Here on this tab, you see enable background refresh, remove that check mark, and I say OK. Now let me collapse all of this. Actually, let me collapse all of this field so it's easier to see. So we can see the four programs here. 
Let me remove arts and culture. I'm not just gonna delete it. Now let's go to data, refresh all. And now I only have three programs. I don't have arts and culture anymore. Same thing with the pivot table. I only have three programs. In no time, all the information was updated and I can keep control of my filters through this table. Very quick and very accurate. I hope you found this information useful. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also share with anybody that you believe can benefit from it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.